coming up on LUTV News. Find out why a major intersection closed recently after a crash this weekend. We have the details up next. Plus, coming up next, find out why security has made some major changes and find out why Parker Hall residents are outraged. And Lindenwood played against Augustana University on Sunday. Find out how the team did in its three-game series. Those stories plus sports, weather, and more ahead on LUTV News. Welcome to this edition of LUTV News. I'm Brad Sislevich. And I'm Samantha Glenn. A 20-year-old O'Fallon man was killed and another seriously injured in a fatal car crash Monday night in St. Peter's. The two-vehicle crash happened around 7.30 p.m. in the 4,000 block of Veterans Memorial Parkway and Cave Springs. St. Louis police say that the car was cut off and struck by another vehicle. The car rolled on its side, throwing both the driver and passenger out of the car. Neither were wearing a seatbelt. Afterwards, the road was shut down in both directions for a reconstruction team. Missouri Senator Claire McCaskill recently shared some serious health news. She announced in a blog post on Monday that she had been diagnosed with breast cancer. She said that her prognosis is good and that she expects full recovery. She will be undergoing three re weeks of treatment in St. Louis. Despite her unexpected health situation, her battle with cancer will not get in the way of her remaining the leading voice on sexual assault and other women's issues. Guns are still banned in the St. Louis Zoo. This is an extension of a temporary order. St. Louis Circuit Court Judge Joan Moriarty has extended a temporary ban of letting the public conceal or openly carry guns into the zoo. Last June, Ohio gun activist Jeffrey Smith planned to lead a group into the zoo, challenging the rights. The next day, Smith entered the zoo with an empty holster. Zoo officials want the temporary extension removed and permanently placed. Lindenwood University residents of the dorm Parker Hall are upset with the recent change in front of their housing. LUTV's Emily Miller investigated as to what was going on. She joins us in the studio to tell us more. Emily? The parking spaces in front of Parker Hall are no longer available for students, and the students we spoke with say they weren't given enough notice. The residents of Lindenwood University's Parker Hall have been receiving tickets after parking in an area that used to be available. Now, those parking spots have become a fire lane. A few residents of Parker Hall say they didn't get the notice and instead received a parking ticket. I've been parking here for like three and a half years, so it's kind of a force of habit and uh, I didn't really notice that the curb was painted yellow. Uh, I live right in the front here, so I've watched cars get tickets day in, day out. After a handful of students had received parking tickets, security put up signs and these white barriers. Tickets cost a staggering $75. The charges for a typical fire lane amount. Students who receive tickets are able to protest. Yeah, my reasoning was that uh, after after so long of parking there, um, I didn't really realize that they had painted the lines and there wasn't any signage out. Head of security John Bowman says the parking changes began in January. Since then, he believes his office has issued around 20 to 30 tickets. To be a uh, just a 10 minute parking, he had a, a red zone. Uh, but everybody violated the red zone, so we decided to just go ahead and, and make it no parking. The plan to change the parking zone initiated from the Student Development Office. He says it was an effort to make the area less congested with traffic. With the barriers set up and signs now posted, students have to find somewhere else to park. Well, that they, they think that they can park there, but if they would read their student handbook, it says anywhere where there's a yellow curb, you cannot park. Students can go to the Lindenwood Security Office to waive the fine for the $75 ticket. For LUTV News, I'm Emily Miller. Straight ahead on LUTV News, plans for closing a detention center have been released by the White House. We'll give you the details of the proposed idea up next.